Hey, Jake with Michigan Yak. We're gonna do the tip test. Um, we're out at Lime and Jackson. Uh, just gonna kind of throw it in the water and see if she flips over. I'll probably do a couple rock tests back and forth and shake her as much as I can to try to actually get her to tip. Don't have anything in my pockets or anything, so we're gonna set it up on the beach here and let her rip and see what happens. All right, um, the axe right here. I'm gonna do the tip test. Um, I think it's pretty stable. Um, I even went on one side and stood on one side. I think it's pretty decent. Um, I didn't put the plug in the hole so it got a little uh, water in there but it drained out pretty quick right through the same hole it came into. Um, I'll give you another tour real quick of the rod holders there. So I just kind of made this into a marshmallow. Just melted it enough to fit into that track there. I cut a four and a half or four and a quarter, and these are three and a half apart um, piece of, I think it's quarter inch, quarter inch aluminum plate. And then I'll run it on this setup for now. I mean, this way I have eight poles. I would never fish with eight poles um, unless I was gonna go like to the ocean or maybe like Michigan, but um, I really like this yak. I mean, I've got, there's in this back, bungee situation there's still a guide that is in there that you can use it kind of floats around for now which is great um, I don't again I don't know if I'll ever use it I don't I don't really travel with a ton of gear um, in here I've got this one that comes with it this little one that's got the scouty mount in it um, this one was for my electronics and I've still got another one that's floating 
Um, I've got four floating over there. Um, there's two hatches. There's where the Mirage Drive goes. And I said that it had kick-up fins. That's not accurate. It does not have kick-up fins. It's the original Hobie Drive, or Mirage Drive, but I'll call this a fin drive because it's not, it's just not the same. Um, Kirko paddle. I love this thing. It is carbon fiber. Kirko paddles. Oops, wrong way. Kirko paddles. Made in Canada. This one is the Angler. It has nylon fins and it's got a measuring tape on the back. Again, I really like this yak. Um, it's great for what I would use it for. Um, fishing for everything, smallies, bass, largemouth bass, crappie, bluegill. I mean, you've got basically everything. There are pad eyes on it. You've got rudder control. You can deploy it from the, from the actual helm. You can pull up the rudder or deploy it. It's got a bungee paddle thing on the side. Um, it currently interferes a little bit with my rod holder on the back. Um, just because of where it's positioned, it hits it a little bit. But I can modify that, I can pull it up a little bit, it doesn't really bother me that much. The only thing that's a little bit annoying is that it puts the fin into the water. Uh, I'll probably end up modifying that, just full disclosure. Um, that's it for the tip test. We're going to go fishing on it probably in the next couple of days.